Hi everyone, I'm David. I'm a field application engineer with Accelera AI. I'm excited to be here today to show you a really interesting use case that we put together that shows both the power and the flexibility of our Metis AIPU and our whole AI platform as a whole. Um, what we are showing here is a basic fruit detection demo with some twists, so let's get into that. If you look at the screen here, you'll see that we have uh, one banana that's closer to the screen and then another banana that's a bit further away and we're running YOLO V8 object detection here to look for the bananas. And what you, what you can see is that the banana that's closer is being detected properly, but the one that's further away is not being detected. So what's going on with that? So the camera that we're using here is a 4K camera, but it's standard in the industry, in the, in the world of visual AI, to downscale to 640 by 640 in order to do inference in a, with a reasonable amount of processing power. What that means when you do downsample like that is that you actually lose a lot of detail and you lose the ability to spot objects that are further away, uh, objects that are just smaller in general in the frame. So let's explore something that we can do about that. So I'll walk over here and pick up the banana and you're actually able to see that the banana is now detected over on the screen and it's not just being detected in like an object detection kind of way. It's actually highlighted in a yellow color here. Uh, this banana is pretty ripe, but it's not quite that yellow. We've got this demo over in, in, uh, in grayscale, just so that you're able to see the kind of segmentation pixel map that we're drawing over the banana a bit better. So let me explain how we're doing this. So we're actually running three neural network models on one Metis chip right now. So we are doing the base object detection model that I talked about earlier. Um, if you see on the screen, we're also running a key point detection or pose model, also based on YOLO V8. Yeah, you can see that it's detecting our arms and legs and, you know, kind of everything like that. And what we're doing is we're actually running that at 640 by 640, just like any other model. But what we're doing at that point is we're taking the kind of position that it detects of any person in the frame, in this case me, and we're applying what's called a region of interest crop to where it detects me in the image. And that crop is actually applied back at the original 4K resolution. And because of that, we're actually able to detect something with the same amount of processing power at the same distance that wouldn't really be possible with just like the base object detection model, right? An alternative approach would be to go to like a massive YOLO 8X or YOLO 11X model, which would drastically increase the amount of processing power you need. Or alternatively, you can cleverly use the power of Metis and the flexibility of Metis in order to kind of work around that problem without uh, sacrificing any accuracy. And that's possible because with our Metis AIPU, we actually have four AI cores. Each one of them has 52 tops of performance. And we're able to leverage that to run multiple independent models at the same time. So in this scenario, we have two cores that are running the YOLO V8L pose model. We have one core that's running the YOLO V8S segmentation model that's able to see the banana. And then another core that's running the original object detection model. And this is the kind of power and flexibility that you unlock with Metis. While the demo that we're showing today is a fruit detection demo, the approach that we've shown can work with any kind of object detection, um, whether that's potentially weapon detection, whether it's PPE compliance, anything where you would normally use an object detection model could have this approach applied to it. Thank you guys so much for uh, checking this out today. If you have any questions about how this works or uh, want to learn more about Metis or the Voyager SDK that we built this solution with, uh, please reach out to us. Uh, you can always find us at Accelera.ai, where you can always check out our evaluation kits and learn more about our product offerings as a whole. Thank you so much.